Hi guys and welcome to another Divi video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignerTechTips.com. Well, we've had a question that comes up well, once every year or so, and we've covered it a few times, but there's been a few updates, but it's how do you make a one-page scrolling site? And they've got all these lovely layouts with Divi, but people don't seem to know how to hook them up and make a site out of them. It is really easy, so we'll go over it again. I've got a new page here. I'm going to use the Divi Builder. And I'm going to use a pre made layout for expediency. And I think there's over a thousand layouts. There's, there's a, yeah, 1334 total layouts. Let's find something web like. Web agency, yeah, that'll do. Web agency. Okay, and let's use their landing page. These landing pages are usually fairly long. Yeah, that looks fine. So I'm going to say use this layout. So here's our layout. Obviously, the Divi Builder is already enabled here. And of course, if you want to edit it, just go in there, or you can even do it this way just by selecting it. Put in your things that you want in, change out your images. I'm not going to do any of that today. We're just going to make this into a one page site. So we've got a sort of hero, services, websites. So to make this work, we need to give these some actual CSS IDs, and that's really easy. We'll do it on the sections that they're in, the blue for a section, green for a row. It will work on most rows too, and dark for the actual module. So I'm going to go into the section, the blue tab there. I'm going to go over to the advanced. I'm going to give it a CSS ID, not a class, an ID I'm going to use for this. So CSS ID, we'll say contact for this one and these are just the sections we want to make a menu to link to and we'll, so we'll call this one work CSS ID again work that's kind of an ad that one Okay, we'll call this one mobile. We'll go to this one. CSS ID again, mobile. And save this one. What have we got above here? Services, yep, we'll call this one services. Again, advanced CSS ID in classes, ID. And you want to remember these names that we're making here because we've got to build our little menu with them. So we've got services, and I think all that was left was the top little section, which was sort of hero section. So we'll call this hero. Or call, call yours obviously what you want. They've got to be unique. There can only be one that's named each thing. Call it something that's going to make sense to you. Okay, so we've given them our CSS IDs there. So let's save this or save draft or publish if you're ready. I'll just save a draft. Now we've got to create a menu that actually works for this. Um, I guess I'll use my primary for that. That's fine because <laughs> that's really a dead menu. It's just the default. So let's go to our dashboard. I'll open it in a new tab. We'll go down to menus, appearance, and then menus. We're working with the, the main menu. You can create a new menu, which is what we want to do up here. Create a new menu. And we'll call it one page for a one page scrolling site. Create menu. 
Now we're going to build our menu and we're actually going to build them using custom links. So here's a custom link. And for the URL, you want to put a hashtag in, then the name of the section that you want it to link to, the CSS ID that we gave it. So the top one was hero, I think. If I get this this wrong, <laughs> it won't work. So we can just call this one top, whatever you want to call it in the menu goes underneath here. Add to menu. Do the same thing with the next one. The next one I think was called work, wasn't it? Or services, I suppose. Put a hashtag in front of it. Make sure you've got a hashtag in front of it or it won't work. Call this one services. Next one we did, I think we called it mobile. It was that little mobile phone. So it's hashtag mobile. Call it mobile or responsive. Might want to spell it right. There we go. Add that one to the menu. Below that, I think we had one called work. CSS ID of work. So it's hashtag CSS ID name. And in the link, I guess we'll call it our work or whatever you want to call yours, obviously. And I think there's only one more, wasn't there? The contact. We call that contact. So hashtag contact. Add to menu. Okay, I don't like that top being called top, so I'm going to call it about, I think. Or about us, or whatever. Looks a bit better than just top. Okay, and of course you can drag these up and down. Not that we want to, because they're in the correct order, and place them where you want. Just like a regular WordPress menu. So we'll save our menu. Now once it's saved, we've got to tell it that we want it to be our primary menu up here. To do that, we need to go to our theme customizer, which you'll find in Divi, customizer. You'll also find it in appearance and customize. They're, they go to exactly the same place. Okay, header and navigation. We want to go down to menus down here. It says menus. Here's our two menus. Now we need to assign the one that we call one page. So we we'll click on it. We want to assign it to menu locations right here, the primary menu. There it is about us, services, mobile, our work, our work, and contact us. Of course, it won't work on this page because this is our one page scrolling site. Let's publish this and go back to our one page. Now that that's published, let's refresh this page. As you can see, our new menu is up there. I'm using the same menu up here, obviously, but we can get rid of the visual builder. And there, this isn't going to go anywhere because we're there already. Let's try the services. Takes us down to our services. Mobile takes us down to our mobile. Our work takes us down to our work. And contact us, obviously, takes us down to contact us. So that is how easy it is. And if we go back up, that will take us back up to our hero section at the top there. So that is how easy it's to make a one page scrolling site with the Divi theme or actually any WordPress theme because it's exactly the same if you were using Elementor or Beaver Builder. You just give them CSS IDs and build the menu the same way. And also if you're just using a generic 2020 theme to give, you, give your little sections or the top of your little uh, Gutenberg rows a CSS ID and you can scroll to them with a menu. So I hope you've enjoyed that and found it useful. Like I say, I cover this about once a year, but uh, 
I know it is confusing if you've never done it before, but that's a way to do it and it's really easy. Just make sure to remember to put those hashtags in front of the CSS ID names when you create your menu. So I hope you've enjoyed that and found it useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, ring the bell, comment, share and subscribe to the YouTube channel. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.